Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can share our digital Blindy Box Brain games with your students on Google Classroom. So when you first open the PDF, there will be a place where there's a link. So you're going to click on this link to copy. And what's nice is it automatically forces you to make a copy. So you're going to click right here where it says make a copy. When it opens it up, you're going to want to make sure you save it and move it to a folder where you can find it. So I'm going to click here, it says move to folder. And I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Blindy Box Games Digital. And I'm going to hit this blue check for create a folder. And then I'm going to click right here where it says move here because you want to move it into this folder. All right, and it's saying that it is saved. So now we need to share this with our students. So we're going to click over here where it says send. And we want to get a link because this is the link that we're going to post in Google Classroom. So I like to shorten my URL so it's just a little bit easier. And I'm going to hit copy. So once you've done that, you've copied your link. Now you're going to head on over to your Google Classroom. So you're going to open up your, your Google Classroom and you're going to go to Classwork. And when you're in Classwork, we're going to click on Create. And we want to create a new assignment. So we're going to click on Assignment. And in here, you can give it a title. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a link. And I'm going to add that link that we just copied. So now I'm going to do Command V to paste the link, and then I'm going to click on Add Link, and then it'll show up down here. For the instructions, if you go back to the PDF that I, that I shared with you, I also have pictures that walk you through this. But you can come here where it says how to play the digital brain game, and you can just copy Command Z if you're on the Mac, and you, you can just copy that text and you can paste that right into the instructions. And so that tells your students exactly how they can play the game. So they click on the link below to open the game. They solve each task and enter the code correctly to unlock the next task and solve all four tasks to unlock the treasure chest. So once you have it all set up, you can either select a due date, um, maybe the next day, and you can decide if there's a points total for this. This is just a really great spiral review. When you're all done, you can click Assign. It should be in there. So I have now put, posted a new assignment, Kindergarten Brain Game 1. And so your students should be able to go in there and access it when they're viewing it from their Google Classroom. I hope that was really helpful. It's really easy. Talk to you later. Bye.